workplaces have changed in the 35 years since I've been working. And we now work in an environment where people are always on. You work, you're available 24 seven, you know, the boundaries of when are you working, when you're not working are very fluid. And it's very easy for corporate organisations to take advantage of that and forget that people have lives and that people who give more deserve more. And one of the things that, and this was an initiative that I implemented in one of the companies we work for in a tech startup where we were expecting people to work, you know, 13, 14, 15 hour days during peak times and then we'd be quiet. And so we implemented in terms of this flexibility what we call Duna days. So you, if you didn't have a critical deadline and you were in one of the low ones, you, you could just, you know, call up in the morning and say, I'm having a Duna day today, which basically means I'm just going to stay home under my Duna and do what I like. Um, and you were, and everyone was sort of like, oh, but, you know, people will take advantage of it. You need to limit how many, and we never put a limit on them. And not once in the entire time did a team member abuse the privilege because it was an appreciation and it was a demonstration of trust and respect. And, and they're all the things that come with appreciation. And which is why I go back to this whole issue where people think if you appreciate too much, people become lazy. I think that's a fundamental mistake to believe that. I think if you appreciate people and respect them, they work even harder or they'll find ways to work better um, because they want to have a relationship with you. No one wants to be the bad guy. People want to inherently be heard and seen and valued.